Algebra 1, 6.4b, make a factoring table. When we want to factor a trinomial in the form of x squared plus bx plus c, where that c is the constant, and it's not a square, we can make a table to help us factor it. And remember, we need to find two numbers that will equal c when we multiply them together and that will equal b when we add them together, okay? So let's look at x squared plus 5x plus 6. We know the first term of each binomial factor will be an x because of the x squared. So we can start writing our parentheses and put an x in the front, couldn't we? Now we need to find two numbers that have the product of 6 and a sum of 5. So we make a little table, and on this side we write product of 6, and on this side we write sum, and we start listing what two numbers are the product of 6. Well, 1 times 6 is 6, and 2 times 3 is 6. When we add a 1 and a 6 together, we get a sum of 7. So that's not a 5, that's not going to work, but 2 times 3 is 6, and 2 plus 3 is 5, so we know our two numbers are 2 and 3. All we have to do is write the two parentheses sets with the x in the front, and our plus sign, and put the 2 and 3 in, and we're done. The two numbers we needed were 2 and 3. Isn't that easy? And when the constant, this 6, is a positive number, the two numbers have to have the same sign. So both of these would have to either be a positive, because a positive times a positive is a positive, or a negative times a negative is a positive, isn't it? So they got to have the same sign, whether it's positive or negative, okay? That's if this last guy is a positive, all right? Now look at this one. We've got x squared minus 8x plus 12. And we've got a middle coefficient that's a negative. So that means we need two negative numbers. And the product is going to be a 12, and the sum is going to be a negative 8, so we make our little table. So what times what equals 12? Well, a negative 1 and a negative 12 make a 12. But when we add them together, we get a negative 13. We know we need two negative numbers because of that negative sign in the middle there. How about negative 2 and negative 6? When we add those together, we get a negative 8. Oh, that, I think that's it. Because negative 3 and negative 4 make a negative 7. So it looks like negative 2 and negative 6 are the numbers we need. And because it started with x squared, we know we can put an x in the beginning of each parentheses. And we put our two negative numbers. We've got x minus 2 and x minus 6 as our binomial factors. So when the constant is positive, See, this 12 is a positive. The two numbers must have the same sign. But when this one is negative, then we know they both have to be negative. See? Does that make sense? When the middle term is a negative, we know that the binomial factors are going to be negative. When this term in the back is a positive, we know they both have to be the same, whether negative or positive. Okay, and that's going to come into play in our next video. So you really need to understand what we're saying here. Okay, so there's two different ways of looking at this. If this is a positive, then we know that these are going to be positive. Remember, if the middle term is a positive, we know these are positive. And if this is positive, they both have to be the same. So they are both positive. When this middle term is a negative, we know that both binomial factors will be a negative, and if that's a positive, we know they're going to be the same. It's going to be when this is a negative that's going to make a difference, okay? So just remember, the middle term and the last term help us to know whether they're going to be negative or positive, okay? And this is really going to help you, okay? So when the middle term is positive, we know the binomial factors are positive, and when the last term is positive, we know that they're both positive. See? All right. So now we've got x squared plus 8xy plus 15y squared. Now, because the x squared is there, we know it's x times x. And there's a y squared, which is y times y. Our binomial factor is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be x plus something y, x plus something y. See? So we can write those in right away if we see this x squared here and this y squared there. Now all we need to do is find two numbers with a product of 15 and a sum of 8. So we do our little table, and we list products of 15. 1 times 15 is 15, and 3 times 5 is 15. But 1 times 15, 
1 plus 15 is a 16, and 3 plus 5 is 8. So it looks like we've got 3 and 5 as the numbers. We multiply 3 and 5 and get 15. We add them and we get 8. Perfect. Okay? So now we've got our x plus something y and x plus something y, and we put in the 3 and the 5. We've got our binomial factors. Isn't that quick? So easy. All right? So the only thing you need to worry about is remembering the signs because that's going to be the toughest. But if you make note of it and you remember the rules, you should be okay. All right? Our next video, 6.4c, is going to be about the constant term negative. We're going to talk about what happens when this last one's a negative. Okay? And if you want to know about factoring trinomial squares or modeling trinomial squares or recognizing them, check out the uh, description in this video. Those, there's going to be links and to the last one we just did too, okay? With the positive constant, all right? I'll see you next video. Bye.